Hey, this is Led from SWBFGamers.com. Just asked to demonstrate the Star Wars Battlefront 2 II, original 2005 server manager uh, here. So it's installed. I have it in this folder. Uh, we've got it set up to access SWBFSpy.com, just like in the GameSpy days. This is a set of binaries that were from Game Master that uh, Kale developed. And so here's the, the server manager. So this was produced by Pandemic. Let me, let me uh, click on that and show you what comes up. Okay, so in this is um, basic server manager. You can put the name of the server in here, number of reinforcements, and all this information. There's a couple different sessions. It's got an automatic start. Uh, Warm-up time, all these different settings over here. three simultaneous sessions you can change the hosting bandwidth six uh, megabits per second and so forth uh, 20 or 30 tick rate different regions all this kind of information team assist what it does is it writes it to a file and that would be this one dsmanager.ini and See, let me open that one up. Okay, so it has this information in it. And it keeps it in between sessions so that you can just edit this file if you want. Basically what it does when you launch this is that it writes a command line out here. Okay, so all of this stuff are command line switches for the battlefront2.exe. Now this dedicated server executable is similar to the game executable except there is no graphics. And the nice thing about that is that you can put this on rented servers and have to worry about graphics issues through remote desktop or anything like that. Uh, so it's a command line type interface. Now Black Bag Ops a number of years back wrote a server manager for it. And this interfaces with the executable for the dedicated server. And so you can change different uh, game styles. You can even issue bands through here, different maps, check on the players and the clients and the status and all of this. And the settings for that are in this SWBF2SM initialization file, INI file. Okay, so this is the command line that was generated in the DS manager, but this initialization file here has all this information in it, all these different settings and so forth. Now there's also a remote manager, swbf2rm.exe, and that allows players to set this up on their remote computer to be able to log into it through this remote manager and be able to change settings in the server manager. It's very handy uh, in case you don't want to give somebody full access to your dedicated server. They can access this remote manager and change the different settings based on their their level. Okay, so uh, if you want to take a look at that, that would be great. Now, in addition to that, I have a video that describes how to use the good old games battlefront2.exe file to try to set up a dedicated server but it doesn't work. Uh, there's something in there that's not allowing it to work. All right.